Like, some of the characters can fly, and Goku never actually learns how to fly in this game. Because he didn't until a part after the end of the game. So, he's stuck. What's up here? A door. What's in the door? Quit failing at jumping on walls. Health is up here. Green liquids will heal you. Remember that, and drink any green liquids you find. I told you it's okay, so it must be true. Because I never lie. Anyone who knows me would tell you that. Yeah, this is a longer level. This is why I actually uh, split the video up. Fuck. I wonder if this will actually make it under the 10 minute mark. I might have to split it. Because there is a lot of these fuckers. Yes, you can actually kick grenades and they'll explode right in your face and not hurt you. Whoops. Okay, there we go. Yes, yeah, a good trick to survival in cases like that is to actually bait the guys into shooting first. Die. Die. Die some more. But Goku never kills anybody, so he's just knocking them out. Yeah, why don't you try shooting at me again, guys? Come on. Ow. Okay, you win this round. Ow, ow. Go to hell. I'm not going down there. Run! Okay, I guess I am going down there. Fuck. Oh well. We need to go down this way anyway, so... No big deal. Run! Die. Run some more! Get shot in the face and run! Keep running! And in here is what we wanted. More key, so we get a better key attack. Check this out. BAM! That's how you deal with an enemy ambush. Hey, he dropped a hamburger. I guess he was having his lunch when I kicked his ass. Ouch. Go, go, go! That's also how you get up platforms where guys are waiting for you. Go, go, go! Actually, the, the explosion from the... Ouch. Fuck. The explosion from those guys hurts a lot. So you don't want to be standing on them when they explode, like I just was. As I was trying to warn you not to do it. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, we are almost to the end. But first... We have to get smacked by more enemies. Oh. Ouch. The green guys love their grenades. Get down here. And die. Now, we go this way some more. Just keep running, Goku. Keep running. Fuck. And one more guy. There we go. Now we come up here, get full health, and go to the first boss that's actually somewhat challenging. Peel off and shoe and robots they didn't even have yet. Yeah, yeah, come on. Goku's got the ball, they're missing. Blah, blah, blah. Goku's not gonna give it to them. Yada, yada, we're going to fight now. Come on. His true power is to have a tiny robot and a slightly larger robot. Yeah, these guys are actually a little difficult. Whoa. Not exceedingly so, but... But, more of a challenge than any of the other bosses have been so far. Ouch, fuck. Die, Pilaf. Now for Shu. Shu's the wussier of the two, because he doesn't do much. 
Victory! And with that, we get Sleeping Gast. And Pilaf wins. This is a thing that is very prevalent in Dragon Ball games. You have to fight bosses only to find out that you lost. But if you lose, the game ends. So now Pilaf is going to wish to rule the world. We're all doomed. Oh no. Doomed. But... Oolong wishes for underwear. Not the world's most comfortable pair of underwear, like you said. He wishes specifically for women's underwear, because he is a pervert. Victory is ours! We skipped the entire transformation thing that got them out of the castle, because Atari does not care about the story. And Goku leaves to go train with Master Roshi. Hooray. Next time... It will be time for a training montage. Later.